Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the previous episode, we uh, rescued Princess Zelda from the clutches of Agon and the Wizard, and uh, now we are heading to Kakariko Village to seek out the Elder. Um, we were told that um, he might be able to help us out with these strange goings on. We're going to make a quick detour into the Lost Woods, uh, just for two things. Again, we're going to be coming back here later. The kind of free reign, not totally free reign of this game, but the ability to kind of do things as you want, when you want, is great. This is um, the beginning of a staple of the Legend of Zelda series, which would continue on through pretty much everything ever since. Um, oh, this is a secret place and we probably shouldn't be in it. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Um, a piece of heart. Uh, if you collect four of those, you get an extra heart container, so um, we're going to want to get every single one of those that we possibly can. The other thing, I am going the wrong way. Um, the other thing we want to pick up in is right up over here. It's not that far, Steve. It's right here. There you go. It is the mushroom. Um, I don't know how something can smell sweet and rotten at the same time, but okay. And apparently uh, we can give it to uh, anyone who wants it. I don't know who would. <laughs> Actually, I do know who would. And we're probably going to do that in this episode as well. So we have those two things. <clears throat> That's our little detour into uh, the Lost Woods. We'll be back there later. Um, sorry, but you are in my way. Goodbye. I think you are too. Yes, goodbye. Uh, that's a fortune teller's house right there. Um, for a price, they'll kind of give you hints on what to do next. Don't need that. Um, let's real quick stop in here because if you look at the map, um, it says that this is where the Elder is. And that's our main objective, so uh, let's go in here and, and talk to him. Oh, you're not who I was expecting. Uh, no one has seen him since uh, he began collecting victims. But... The X said it was here. He, the, the, the X on the map. That's what that's what X's do and maps and things. They tell you. Oh, oh God. Yeah, the Master Sword. Yeah, that that's great. But the Elder. That's kind of what I was looking for. Oh, but that's look for the Elder. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. It said he was here. This is what the world has come to. And you can't trust X's on maps. Oh, anyway, he is elsewhere. Alright, well, next thing we need are some bombs, because we need to blow some shit up. So we're going to get some right down here in this well. Uh, and in addition to these, we will also get um, our second piece of heart. Uh, I usually stop here in Kakariko, Kakariko to do all this, just because you end up with an extra heart. You know, I'll have five going into the first temple, which, um, like I said, it's for insurance, just in case. But you could go straight to the first temple if you want to. I think the reason why they do that uh, bit with the Elder where they tell you to come here is because the game is trying to hint at you to, that you should come here and get some, get some items. Because it's not just the pieces of heart that we're going to get, we're also going to get a couple of other useful things as well. That will uh, help us in our mission. Um, back to the house that we passed, it almost kind of looks like there's bars on the windows and it's like a jail. Sounds like the perfect place for some treasure. No, not hearts there. Well, oh, one rupee. Thank you. Um, this was, used to be a thieves hideout, and their leader was named Blind. Uh, keep that in mind for later. We just might run into him. Oh, this puzzle. First things first, let's bomb the wall. And we're going to get our third heart piece. There's so many things about this game, as many times as I've played it, that my brain just can't retain or comprehend, like this block puzzle. Um, I know you want the two end pieces down, it's like that one, and then the same on the other side. And I'm sure there's more than one way to do this too, but we'll do it that. That should work. Yes, that works. That and that and there. Because each of these chests has got 20 rupees. And, um, as I said before, money is going to be needed. Um, so we still have a heart piece to get. And also I mentioned that you want to have um, 100 rupees. We've got, we've got, what, 287? Um, because we're going to buy um, something off of this guy right down here. He is selling 
for 100 rupees. Oh, I'm sorry to sneak up behind you like that, dude. <laughs> That's, that looks kind of wrong. <laughs> oh, Link, you're a lot of things, but I didn't... Never mind. Um, we get a bottle. Empty bottle. Um, there are four in this game. Again, um, something that becomes our standard in Zelda games. Um, you can put items in these bottles to use whenever you want. Potions, fairies. Um, we're going to need something in order to capture fairies, though. And we're going to go get that soon. We've only got one bomb left, so let's use it right here. And there's a reason why. Um, and that reason why is because we're going to get more. There's more in here. You can, There's actually a shop here in town where you can buy bombs. But there's no reason to do it. I've, I don't think I've ever had to buy bombs when playing this game. You know, buying bombs is for chumps. A lot of Zelda games even have, like, you can buy a heart. Like, not like a heart container, just like one heart. It's like, why would you do that? Um, anyway, this kid is the one uh, who knows where the Elder is. And guess what? He is all the way over on the opposite side of the map from where we are, which is basically right next to the Eastern Palace, which is our first dungeon. Um, be careful who you talk to around here, because um, now that Link has been framed for kidnapping Zelda, Here's our second bottle. It's probably that's like the easiest one in the game to get. I mean, the other one's easy too, but you gotta pay for it. This one's free. And if you come right across the street, we're gonna get um, something to catch fairies in. From this kid right here who's sick, and so he's going to loan us his bug catching net. So now we can put things in that bottle. Those two bottles we got. Um, yeah, be careful who you talk to because now Aghanim has framed Link for kidnapping Zelda. And so, if you talk to certain people, they will actually summon guards uh, to come get you <clears throat> and kind of forces, forces you to fight them. A little interesting thing in this house is if you pull on the Mario painting, you get rupees. So, I don't, yeah, I usually don't talk to too many people around here. There's like one person I know if you talk to them, they, they just say, oh, you know, oh, I still believe in you, Link. But,. I think that's all we need up in the main town. If you come down here, um, we're going to pass by the library. We're going to have to come back to that soon. Um, but not just yet, because we cannot get what's in there. Um, come up into this house, and apparently uh, this guy has sealed his brother in the next room. <laughs> that sounds like a great brother. So let's just bomb the wall and, uh, and let him out. It's just so odd. There's so many odd things in Zelda games. This is just one of many. Why would you, like, basically... Well, I guess he could have gotten out. He could have come out the door. This here is a little mini game. We have to reach the goal in 15 seconds. And we're going to be rewarded for doing so uh, with our fourth piece of heart, which will give us our next heart container. And we'll be uh, good to go. Nine seconds. Yeah. Just be careful getting this piece of heart. You can fall off the edge there, and then you gotta do the whole thing all over again. So just kinda be careful when you're collecting it. Um, that's really all we need here in Kakariko Village. We've got uh, another heart container, we have got a bug catching net, we've got two bottles. What's in here? I forget. So many of these houses I honestly forget. Oh, uh, that, that's just a random mini game. You know, you can pay however many rupees to pick a chest. You know, it's kind of like a, it's a game of chance, basically. There's two, well, and we'll get to that much, much later, but there are two um, pieces of heart in this game that you can only get through games of luck. And so we're going to be doing enough of that as it is. I don't see any reason to, uh, I'm not a gambling person, thank God. You know, with all my other addictions, you know, I'd probably be a freaking gambling addict as well if I was, so I'm glad I'm not. I just don't, I don't like risking, risking money. So, I don't gamble in these games if I don't have to. Um, on our way to the Eastern Palace, which is our first dungeon, um, uh, well, I see you down there trying to, no, 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 no. Uh, we're going to stop off and uh, deliver the mushroom to the person that bought Oh, I do that every time. I, I shit you not, I do that every time I'm trying to go to where I'm heading right now. And I'll start heading toward the Eastern Palace. I do it every time. Octoroks. 
and you die now. They're a good source of rupees as well. Probably kill more of them, but um, I usually always end up, you know, finishing this game with. Um, I, I never seem to be lacking in the rupee department. Anyways, if you come over here, um, this is the person. I say um way too much. If that bothers anybody, I'm sorry. I noticed it in the last video and in previous ones, but I'm sorry if it bothers anyone. This witch here is the one that wants the uh, rotten mushroom, and she tells us to come back later for something good. Um, later means simply leave the screen, come back, and she will have uh, an item for us. It's actually inside. What do you say about it, though? And she's still saying come back later, but guess what? It's ready right now. Come on inside, and you get the magic powder. This can be sprinkled um, on, most importantly, um, an enemy we're going to see later, um, anti-fairies. Um, so I don't buy any of the potions yet. Red refills your life, green refills your magic, blue refills both. Maybe for the final battle I usually grab a blue just to be on the safe side, but for right now we're good. And um, I think that's probably where I'm going to end it off. I'm going to start heading over to the Eastern Palace, and we'll put that in the next video. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. Oh, yeah, there I go again. Um, So, yeah, I think it's time to call it quits. We're just going to get around the corner, back up to where I foolishly went before. And that'll be that, so everyone uh, take it easy and have a good day. And I will see you next time for more of The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Bye.